so important without an avatar how do you know what content to create right My friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about your avatar. Why is it so important to define your avatar and if you're not sure what an avatar is we're talking about your ideal prospect who it is that you're trying to sell to. That is your avatar and it's super important to define it and we'll get to that in just a second but first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right. If you're anything like me, you... To you procrastinate on defining your avatar because you think you know it, you know it, it's in your head, you know who it is, you know who you're selling to, and maybe even you know that everybody can use your product, right? Those are all awful mistakes, mistakes I made definitely, and we're going to talk about that. Before we go into that, I want to remind you though, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video because I will be sharing my screen and showing you some really valuable stuff using video and in the blog post. So you're going to go check that out at cis456.jsgagnon.com where I'll be showing you, uh, share my screen and everything else. All right, so let's get right to it. Why is it so important to define your avatar? And what does it mean to define your avatar, right? So the first thing, let me just go and share my screen here. So the first thing is, I mean, you look at Facebook, right? So Facebook will show you stuff that it thinks you're interested in, right? How does Facebook, you know, know that, right? How does, face, how does Facebook know what you're interested in, right? You're interested in the stuff that you've engaged with on before. You're interested in the stuff that you've actually commented on, that you've actually... <coughs> you know, I reacted to, right? If I, if I look at this picture here from Christina, uh, I mean, if I like this picture and I comment on it, you know, Facebook knows, oh, I like this person or I like this kind of post or I like this, the text that's in there. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that Facebook does to figure out what it is that they should show you so that you actually are interested um, to take action against other stuff that's there, right? So that's what Facebook does. Facebook defines your you anyways you as a, a consumer of their product which is facebook right based on activities that you've taken now when you are trying to promote products this is what makes creating an avatar or defining your avatar so 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 important whenever you're creating content like say i go to my page <coughs> i still have to work i this is a constant thing that you're going to need to work all the time. Now, I don't want to sugarcoat it. It's not like you do it once and that's it. You forget about it. You're actually going to be doing this over and over, over, over the years. You're going to be kind of tweaking your avatar, improving it, maybe changing some things. But the most important thing is to start and get going and define it at least once. And I, to be honest, I have not done that. I had not done that. Uh, in the beginning, right, when I first started out, I was like, okay, you know what, my avatar is just people like me, or it's people that are interested in stuff that I like, and they're just gonna, you know, be interested in whatever I do, because, you know, they like me, or they think I'm good, or whatever, right? <clears throat> so that's kind of what I, uh, <laughs> that's funny, because this is, this Mark Nelson, actually, he's got, he got blocked in a messenger, and he he posted on my page here, instead of because he can't send me a message, right? But that's kind of funny that I see that right now as I'm recording this. But anyways, yeah, so <clears throat> when you're creating content on your Facebook, like me, I'm posting this stuff on Facebook, right? Why am I posting this stuff, right? The stuff that's there it looks pretty much random, and that's because I'm not super focused. I'm kind of building a personal brand, so that's the other thing you, you got to keep in mind, right? If you're building a personal brand, there's a slight difference into how you should be creating content on social media if you're building a personal brand your content has to be personal as well you can't just post stuff for your avatar although <laughs> this is where it becomes kind of complicated although your avatar is also 
must be defined as somebody who is interested in the kinds of stuff that you do that you post <clears throat> I know that sounds confusing right and that's one of the things that I when I first got started I was like okay how do you how do you do that oh you know what one thing I forgot to load up in preparation here is um yeah let me just come right back to that all right so I just wanted to show you this this is a tool that I used recently to kind of define my own avatar and one of the things that's really cool about this is it uses AI anyways that's not what this post is about I just want to show you how define it what does it mean to define your avatar right what are the demographics who are they what are their problems what are they wants their dreams what are their fears what are their motivation what are their uh, false beliefs in this case right so this was a tool that let me create an avatar all I had to do is come in here and just uh, go in here and I just actually uh, put in a demographics then in who they are I put in what they have tried or what they've done and then the other thing that's really cool about this tool is I could actually go in here there's an AI assistant right there and I can actually say you know give me you know tell me this I, I told them I told my AI assistant, Jax, in this case, I help 40, uh, you know, 35 to 40 year old professional women to organize their time on Facebook. My ideal client is blah, blah, blah. So I kind of laid out who it is that my ideal customer, <clears throat> not my avatar, my ideal customer. And I said, give me 20 problems and challenges that she's facing that I might be able to help her overcome, right? So then when I did, I just, uh, then you, what you do, there's a button here that you can't see because my video is in the way, but. There's a button right down here that says generator. So I click on that and it starts working on the let's put that back down. It starts working on the result of that question, right? And then it gives me the <coughs> now let's see if it can come back here in a second. Then it gives me an answer to that particular question, right? So in this case it was 20 things that I can help them with, right? So now <coughs> if we look at this, we can actually see. Let's load it all up. This gives me 20 examples of things that maybe I can help this particular person with. Now, there's some additional stuff I need, <clears throat> I need to do in here. I might need to say in here that I help with software or I help with coaching or whatever it is. I might need to specify, clarify that a little bit more because right here is just giving me uh, random, not random, but I guess specific things that it thinks I can help with based on the stuff that I told them, right? Or her, uh, Jax is a her apparently. Um, but yeah, so this is, gives me that. Then I used some of these, I took some of these out, right? I took just a few of them. And then I basically put that in here, right? So that's kind of the initial part of my avatar. So I did define the avatar using all this. Afterwards, which is kind of cool with this tool is it can actually have a custom avatar, an avatar overview. If I click on here, I can actually see what it came up with right here, right? The whole overview of my avatar. And let's just go down here. And then there's also an elevator pitch, which you can kind of use on posts and things like that to kind of, you know, attract the right person. When you post this stuff, you're basically going to be telling the avatar, your ideal customer, your ideal prospect about something that you're selling, right? So that's part that's why it's so important because you you're going to have a specific language you're going to have specific words you're going to use you're going to have specific images you're going to use you're going to have specific things and because you don't have your avatar defined you're posting random stuff that might interest some might interest somebody else might interest somebody else right you're kind of going all over the place and that's the danger without the avatar being defined clearly you're going all over the place and you know I'm sure you've heard that before if you're not focusing on one you know target you're not gonna reach anybody if you're not if you're not you know talking to one specific you're in <coughs> or if you're talking to everybody you're gonna reach nobody that's kind of what it is right so if you're talking to everybody you're gonna reach nobody and that's why having an avatar is so important because it, it helps you focus on who you're talking to, what language you're going to use, what words you're going to use, what images, what kind of content are you going to talk about, what other leaders are you going to talk about. If, you're, if I'm trying to attract affiliate marketers, well, I'm going to talk about Russell Brunson. I'm going to talk about Gary Vee. I'm going to talk about Eric Worre. I'm going to talk about the other people that these my target market my avatar is actually interested in hearing about I'm gonna say things like 
Did you see Gary V's last post about XYZ? Isn't that so awesome? I really love that. And here's a little bit of it. You know, that kind of stuff, right? Then I know that my avatar is going to be interested in that because that's my avatar. Now, if you're in weight loss, it's different, right? But here's another thing. Um, I actually... Oh, my. I've been doing this for a long time, right? I've been doing this for years now since 2015 is when I started my online marketing journey right so I've been doing this and going back and forth and recreating things and one of the things I did just recently is this top 10 questions to clear clearly define your avatar now I still have to work on the funnel page this is basically where it is so it's avatar.jsgagn1.com let me just put that in here <laughs> let's just um can I duplicate 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 I'm actually going uh sorry about my microphone I think that when I turn my head that way right the sound isn't as good just a second I'm just doing a do copy there it is oh I guess it doesn't do okay anyways I'll just create another one over here I'm going to create another one it's going to be called um, avatar and let's just it's not avatar the blue alien it's nothing to do with that right it's avatar the uh and it's going to be avatar.jsgagnon.com that's what it is and i'm going to make the color here let's make it where's my color whoops my color select color oh there it is okay let's make it blue like this and let's make the background black is fine let's just go like this make this go like that you can kind of see that right all right and then let's resize it a bit because it's a little bit too big there we go all right so we have it right here oh that's still not yeah I don't like that eh? it's not it's not the right background color so let me just edit that again some more on the background color let's make it a little bit more opaque even I can just do that I guess or should it I think I should have a different color shouldn't I let's do that let's make this black and let's make the background white there we go <clears throat> okay so that's the link to it avatar.jsgagnon.com now you can get your this is free I'm actually going to be putting together some additional material around this to kind of help you a little bit more but if you want to see this is kind of what it looks like whenever you get it you get to the you can go to this uh, page and then you're going to be able to download it so if I just show you what it looks like give you an idea right of what to expect and whether it's worth it I certainly think it's it really helps me to define this so basically I have the an introduction I have the 10 questions that are here <clears throat> and then uh, basically that's that's really all it is right you just got to fill in these answer these questions answer those and then you can build your avatar and define your avatar and it's really that simple <coughs> sorry <coughs> it's really that simple so once you have your avatar defined then you're going to be able to create content geared towards your avatar some leaders they'll tell you that your avatar you know well actually that's not true I think that almost every single leader tells you to create your avatar before you do anything else and I think that's a little bit of an issue I mean yes it's important to define your avatar before you go out and do all sorts of crazy stuff but you know what's more important to define your avatar is defining your offer <laughs> now I'm not saying no, there's two levels to defining your offer right first is actually knowing what you're going to sell now some will say well I don't really know what I want to sell because I don't know who I'm selling to right so there there's that chicken and the egg thing that can happen unless you already have a product if you don't have a product and trying to build a business online you're trying to you know like leave your day day job and trying to build a business online and because lots of leaders that's what they're doing or that's how they started out right they started with an online business where they have no clue what they're doing and they just want to sell something they just want to generate income right well that could be your your offer you could be helping others to do the same right that's where that's where lots of people are in obviously and online like kind of what I do a little bit I'm helping you but I have software I've got I built software I built websites things like that 
which isn't what most people do right most people either resell something that somebody else has which is an affiliate marketer <coughs> or they um, have products that they're already selling that they're trying to sell online right so in either case you are building a business online you need to know what is your product you need to know who is your avatar and then you need to know what is your offer right those three things they kind of go together you can't have you can't build you can't define your offer unless you know your avatar <clears throat> and you know what you're selling right so and that difference between what you're selling and what your offer is is that what you're selling is a physical or maybe digital right but it's a product right it's like a course or it's a or it's a it's a you know a doorbell this is a doorbell this is a product right? they're selling this if you're selling a product that's one thing that's not your offer your offer is not i'm going to sell you this doorbell that's not your offer and your offer is what is this doorbell going to give your avatar your target market your perfect prospect what is this doorbell going to give them i don't know because i'm not a doorbell salesman right <laughs> but the idea here is that you need to define your offer based on your avatar that's why you need to know your avatar before you can actually clearly define your offer because you know if it's a person that can't walk let's say they're old and they're older and they have trouble walking and they <clears throat> they're very slow like my father <clears throat> has got lots of arthritis and is very slow walking so if he takes half an hour to go to the door because he's upstairs on the second level <clears throat> takes him 15 20 minutes <clears throat> sorry to get down the stairs before he gets to the door well that person that's there might be gone by the time he gets there right they might have not waited long enough well maybe this is an example of a doorbell for him it would be this is a doorbell that will allow you to answer wherever you're sitting in the house because you'll be able to connect it to an Alexa and you'll be able to tell Alexa to answer the door and to respond to the person that said the door and tell him hey wait a minute I'm coming down it'll take me a while <clears throat> right so that's what the offer is what is it giving your avatar when you're talking about affiliate marketing when you talk about online uh, uh, products all those things they are based on who it is that you're trying to attract like in this case right this custom avatar pitch right uh, uh, are you a busy professional woman struggling to balance work family and your online business do you find it challenging to manage your time on social media and track your progress on Facebook our software can help you solve these problems and achieve your business goals I'm sorry I got some um, I just had something to eat not long ago and it's like doesn't sit well I guess our tool is designed to help you save time and more productive uh, and be more productive on Facebook by streamlining your activities and helping you find your ideal clients with our software you'll be able to track your progress and see measurable results all while staying organized and, or and maintaining a personal touch with your clients and prospects <coughs> don't let false beliefs hold you back our software is easy to use and affordable and it will help you make take your business to the next level join the thousands of successful women who have already discovered the benefits of our tool and start achieving your dreams today now this was written by an AI tool so it's not completely accurate because you know this is a software I created recently there's not thousands of people using it yet so I definitely should not be saying that but still there's a couple of people using it they do love it and so I could say that instead right but that's basically one of the things that's really cool about these avatar tools and and by the way if you want you can have access to this particular tool if you'd like you just let me know and I can point you in the right direction to get access to this so you can create that too but like I said the first step is for you to get uh, the uh, the actual <coughs> the actual uh, where is it no this one here so go to avatar oh that's still on the screen eh? well anyways go to avatar.jsgallion.com to go get your free copy and take that off of there for now and basically just put in your you know you just click on here you put your name right and the email and it'll send it to you but it also I'm working on adding some additional things to that like some details like for example I want this 
um, oh, not this one. I want this here to have an introduction. I want to talk about why an avatar, which is kind of what I'm doing here, right? I want to talk about the qu questions one to four. And then I want to talk about question five and question six. I want to have spe special little videos that talk about all these things. And maybe I'm going to be doing the, as a first income secrets episodes. I don't know. No, probably not. But I can actually do one here and talk about what this is about. No, I can't. Can I? I don't know. I'm just trying to think if I could actually, because this is one of the things that I do as well, right? I create content on uh, <coughs> uh, on the platform, digital, like a course, like if I click on here, courses, we can see all the courses that are available on this platform. And that's one of the things I do. I create courses, I post them on this platform. They're available for people. There's some of these that are called what they call PLRs. But still, there's some of them that I actually created myself. There's some that come from um, some other uh, marketers. And uh, and then there's some that I just post here, like uh, like this one here is right here. This one here is uh, Active Group Users. This is 10 Social Facebook Engagement Sales Secrets. A bunch of other things that I did before. The 12 Steps to Your Online Success. Top 10 Simple Online Strategies. All these are available for you, like as you see, free, right? The ones that are free. <clears throat> you can go and get those on the platform. You just go to clickycourse.com. But anyways, that's that's not what this was about. But my point is that I create content for people who are interested in these things. That is my avatar. My avatar is somebody who's looking to build their business online. Somebody's trying to organize their time. Somebody who's who doesn't have you know nine hours a day to waste on Facebook on social media. That's my avatar. Who is your avatar and how do you know who it is uh, that you should be talking to, right? That's why you need to define your avatar. It's so, so important. Without an avatar, how do you know what content to create, right? You don't. You're just going to randomly do stuff. You're going to just post things randomly with no thought to it because that's what you got to do. They tell you you got to post content, right? So you're just going to be posting content. That's what I did. That's what I did for a long, long time. And I learned tools. I learned all sorts of things. I've wasted lots of times on lots of different things without defining my avatar. Now that I have my avatar defined, I have to be more strategic in what I'm doing and the content I'm creating, which, by the way, I haven't gotten there yet. I'm still kind of all over the place. <clears throat> but I know what the direction is. But I know the steps to create an avatar. And this is why I you know put this together for you right and also that's why you if you want to use this tool here i can show you how to do that or i can tell you where to get it um and i have other things too i don't know if i want to get into that maybe do, do i want to get into that do you want to know about another tool i have um yeah you know what sure i'm going to tell you it's still it it's still in development but it's called clever ai copy and it can be used to generate uh, your own avatar stuff. I actually have a bonus, bonus, bonus dot cleveraicopy.com. <coughs> That's going to give you 90 days access to Clever AI Copy. All right. That's, um, do I have it in here? Is that the one? Yes, bonus dot cleveraicopy.com. Right. So that's the one here that you're seeing right here. It'll give you 90 days free access to clever ai copy all right so that's going to be there so what is that so clever ai copy lets you create content for using uh ai right there's a ton of tools out there that use ai this is one more it's it's a tool that's still in development but i can show you kind of what it does a little bit so you can use it to create your avatar there's there's you have you can do chats you can create images right like this and create images from it uh you can do an ad hoc session which i've been using in the last few days to create stories for my daughters um you can do social posts where you can basically say i want to you know create a post about this or that quotes blog posts course copy funnel copy email letter creator option and then there's options and this is for me but Let's say, for example, you want to do something with an avatar. You would go in here. As you can see, I have uh, thousands of sessions that I've already used. These are just all previous sessions, past sessions. If I want to go and look at anything I did a while ago, I can just click on it. It'll show me the actual content. Like, see, for example, write me an entertaining email sequence of five emails 
with compelling stories. I basically said, write me an entertaining email sequence of five emails with compelling stories about using Clever AI copy to generate all your funnel and course marketing copy and content. Put emphasis on how much time they will save and how inexpensive copywriters are. My name is Jean Serge and the website is uh, Clever AI Copy. All right. So I asked Clever AI to do that and it gave me these emails. Email number one, email number two, email number three, email number, <coughs> number where's the other ones? Email number four, right here, right? Email number four, over here. Then there's email number five, right here, right? With the subject and the name. And then I, I asked it to regenerate it. I said, include that there's a free 14-day trial available. And it, then I did, did the same thing. It redid it, but it added the trial, that there's a free trial. Then I said, add follow-up subjects to each email, right? So <clears throat> subject line one, two, three, right? So I mean, that's the thing. You can use it for that. But anyways, let's just say we're, we're trying to build something with uh, for um, uh, your avatar right now. All right. So let me just say, like, whoops, let's scroll down. Start new session right here. I'm going to say uh, define. Um, okay, actually, let's do the same thing I was doing. I help online marketers, marketers to grow their audience and find leads by using a software to list the most active users in Facebook groups right so the software is called active group users and it helps to focus attention on the active users and def and 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 uh, tracks your tracks um, <coughs> tracks how who whose profile whoops whose profile you visited last now of course in your case right you would write you help people to lose weight with supplements or you 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 know whatever it is it you sell doorbells right and you help you sell video doorbells whatever it is you do you would write that right you would write what it is that you do and then you would just def kind of explain to the ai what you do and uh and then you would you would ask a question so write me write me 10 um limiting beliefs 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 people have have about using software on facebook so i can help them overcome those okay well anyways i don't know i mean obviously the writing has to be clearly but if i just click on this now that's going to generate those answers based on what i just told it so look at that software is too complicated and time consuming to figure out and use on facebook people don't trust software on facebook it's too risky to use software when dealing with people's data on facebook software might be too expensive to buy compared to just manually looking for users software can only find users in large facebook groups not smaller niche groups software can't differentiate so these could be like things i could use to generate content that i could just build you know a tool like say for example i take this now i'm going to take um let's see software <coughs> so let's just take this <coughs> start a new session actually i'm going to go in social post start a new session here i'm going to say uh actually i'll use the ad hoc sorry the ad hoc lets me more more freedom so i'm gonna say given the false belief of right like this uh give uh, write me write me a social media post uh telling people why that is not true there let's see let's see what it tells me 
right? And this is kind of the stuff you can do with AI, right? It's really cool. So did you know that software can find users in small and niche Facebook groups too? It's not just about the size of the group. Software can help you save time by making it easier to connect with relevant users, no matter the size of the group. So let's just post, let's just, I'm going to take this over here. And I'm actually going to post that on Facebook. I go over here and I come in here and I'm just going to post this right here. Did you know that software can find users? And instead of actually, you know what? Let's go back to AI and I'm going to show you something. Whoops, this one here. <coughs> so right uh, the name. So put the name of the software active group group users. So if I just add that, add that to the session, it'll redo it based on that. <coughs> uh, with active user there you go I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back here and then just post that in here and let's just make it a few lines make it easier to read and then I'm going to say over here PS this was written by an AI what do you think so just see if anybody uh, responds to this right you can't find users in small groups with active groups you can find users in both large and small groups so for search us and then find both popular and large that's not really true but anyways I'm just gonna see what, anyways I'm just gonna post it it's not exactly specific because it does I didn't clearly explain what active group user software does to the plot to the tool but I kind of wanted to uh to just kind of show and see what kind of response I might get from this post anyways that's like I said there's a bunch of stuff that I do but importantly for you to do is to define your avatar and go get your top 10 questions to clearly define it I'm going to actually remove that link that's here and this is the avatar link right here uh let's actually uh what's going on here oh, okay there we go all right so go get your copy of this avatar.jsganga.com it'll really help you to define your avatar because it's goes through the questions one to one to ten just answer those questions i actually have this i gotta fix this it's not a few hours it just takes you a few minutes to go through those obviously it can take you hours to really do the avatar properly but within a few minutes you're going to have that free ebook and you're going to be able to start creating your avatar defining your avatar and get the clients to actually respond to your content all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.